Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool and abstract landscape with using Octane Render. So firstly guys, I'm going to take a simple plane, this one. And now I increase plane size. Guys, breadth size I take like 500 and height 500. So guys, I go to display, select all shading lines. Yeah. And also increase guys segments. Segments I take like 200 and 200. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, that's my simple plane. And now I apply mountain texture. I show you. See, guys, that's my mountain texture. Right, guys, you can download this all texture from my website, it's free. So select all textures and apply on note editor. So create new material, select and open this material. Guys, this time material type. I use glossy yeah and click on note editor right okay so guys apply textures so select all guys this time I don't take this diffuse that's my color texture diffuse so select only ambient occlusion depth and height and normal map yeah I don't use diffuse so select this all four texture drag and drop in note editor yes right and connect with AO material. So guys, that's my ambient occlusion AO. So connect with roughness. Yes. And that's my guys. That's my normal map. Connect with here. Yeah. And this is my depth. So go on last. And that's my height. So connect with bump map. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I take displacement. Go on here and select this depth texture. This one connect with input and now connect with also displacement. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, select this displacement and level of detail. I take 8K and amount. I take guys, you can take any amount like 100, but guys, this time I take like 70 is good for me. Yes, so close this material editor and apply on plane yes right okay so guys now i go on octane and live window drag and drop on here and click on here yes see guys that's my mountain right for lighting you can apply hdr light yes and closer see guys and increase screen size like this yeah right see guys that's my mountain right okay so guys i apply color on mountain so guys this time open this material open and go to again note editor yeah and apply on gradient search type gradient select this gradient drag and drop on here Yes, and connect with diffuse. Select this gradient and connect with diffuse. Yes, I select this gradient and you can take any color. So open first checker box and I take blue color. Guys, blue color and go to on mid. Yes, right. I take this one and second one open second checker box. And this time like purple. Otherwise you can take light actually dark blue. Yes. Right. See guys that's my mountain material. And guys increase this purple color light blue dark blue. Yes. Yeah. Right. See. Okay. So I select this material. Close. And again. Render preview. Yeah. See guys. Now my texture is complete. And now I apply area light. So go to octane area light. Yes. And guys go on here and rotate this light. Rotate 90 degree. Yes. Guys I also change light color. So octane SDR light and go to on texture 
and use RGB spectrum. Yeah, and guys, this time light color. I take light blue. Light blue. Yes. See, guys, that's my light color. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, guys, little bit up, little bit. Yes. And guys, I take one more light. So, copy this light and go on here and rotate. Yes. Right. See. Okay. So, guys, now I take camera and camera check and set camera angle. And guys, take camera angle. Closer. Yes. And yeah, this camera angle is good. Right? Okay. So guys, now I apply SDRI image on background. So select this SDRI image, this one, and click on texture and apply texture. See guys, that's my night view like sky texture and open and no. Yes. And set guys also UV. So UV transform check and click on here. Go to down and guys UV size. I take 0 0.2. Yes. And change rotation. Guys rotation like this. More. Yes. Yeah. Right. See guys. Now my texture is fixed. Guys, I also change gamma, this one, create darkness. So gamma, I take 1.5. Yes, right? That's really good. Okay, so guys, all is good. Now, I apply some bubble. So use again this time, spare. And spare radius like 8. Go to up. Right? And segments like 50 create more smoothness guys radius little bit increase i like 10 yeah i like 10 and copy this pair press ctrl c and v and go on here like this guys little bit smaller yes yeah right and again copy guys this time radius i take like three go to again back here and up yes and last time copy guys radius i take like two centimeter so go to on back like this and up Right? See guys, that's my composition. And now, guys, I create material for this bubble. So create new material. Guys, again this time, I take material type specular. Yes, and go to note editor. And select this material. Go on here. Guys, this time, I take scattering medium, select on here, yes, and connect with medium, yes. So guys, now I apply RGB spectrum and one more time RGB spectrum and connect with here, both here and here, yes, right. And guys, change color, RGB color, select this RGB spectrum one and guys, this time, and color code is H, I take 300, S, I take, guys, 100 and 100, yes. I take pink color, yes. And second one, I take blue color. And color code is 200, 100 and 100. Yes, see guys, that's my blue color, right? And press OK. Yeah, and uh, guys, again, I go to scattering medium and density, I take 1. Yeah, so select this material. Yeah, but guys, that's not looking so good. So select this RGB spectrum 
and connect with transmission. Yeah, this one is also better, right? Okay, so guys, now little bit increase roughness. That's my that's not looking so good. It's like a glass material. Go on here and floating. I take 0 0.2. Yes, see guys, that's my material, final material, right? So close and close this material editor apply on spare so select all spare and right click and apply yeah and again render yes see guys that's really good right okay so guys now i apply more light on here so stop actually take this time rectangle tool this one and red size i take like eight and height I take like 50 centimeter and guys again I take rectangle and this time red size 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 height and guys now use swap tool select both rectangles and make child with swap yes right okay so guys create new material for this swap and create new material yes and stop this rendering stop open this material and guys this time for lighting I go to emission and black body emission check and texture take any RGB color spectrum and guys this time I take orange color so color code is 25 100 and 100 yes see guys that's my material and surface brightness check double sided check Yes, so close, apply on swap tool. Yeah, and create rendering, click on here. Yeah, right, okay, so guys change position, select the swap tool and go to here and go on here. Yes, and little bit up and go to back. Guys, little bit more up. Yes. Right. See, guys, that's my position. And now, guys, I take camera. Actually, I already take camera. So, select this camera setting. And I go to post processing and enable check. And bloom power, I take 20. Yeah. And camera image. And camera image check. And guys, saturation. To white I take 0 0.2 yes see guys now my lighting is really good right okay so guys fix this lighting select this lighting and select this one light this one and little bit more up also select the second light and up yeah and go to an again octane camera see guys that's really beautiful lighting and guys lastly I apply simple character so I go to file and merge guys I already download some character simple 3d character select this one and open yes right okay so guys make smaller so select this 3d character and guys size this time 0.03 0 0.03 0 0.03 yes and octane camera uncheck closer like this okay so guys now select this position go on here and up more yes and guys go on character closer and again up guys for rendering is take little bit time like 11 yes see guys that's my character and rotate this character so select this character and rotate like this yes and more yeah see guys and closer that's my character right and little bit down 
attach on this flow actually this mountain yes and now guys create material for this character simple you can take any color but guys this time i take white color so diffuse use white simple and material type i use glossy yeah and apply on this character apply yes and delete this extra material see guys that's my simple composition and go on again camera yes right okay so guys select this camera and little bit change position little bit closer and up like this right and select this bubble and position change yes and closer yeah see guys that's my final render right okay so guys now composition is good i go on render setting so channel i take this one and guys go to render setting maximum clamp i take like 2000 yeah and gi clamp i take one yes that's it so guys after render save this image so guys that's it it's my simple composition create abstract landscape with using octane render is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this all project file and material from my website is free thank you